Nigeria's fuel subsidy debate dates back to the 1980s. For next year, the government plans to pay for petrol subsidy for the first time. This isn't good news to an analyst, though, who was a guest on The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Ngozika Ohechisi reports. Nigeria's federal government plans to fund petrol subsidy for the first six months of 2022. What will follow afterwards will be a total deregulation of the downstream oil and gas sector. That's according to the finance minister. A public affairs analyst, Nick Agule, vows that. He says the government has failed for close to seven years to deal with few subsidies, despite promises. The government has said in 2022, they will pay subsidies for the first few months, and then there will be total regulation of the downstream sector. And I say, it is not going to happen. Why do I say so? I say so because the government has been thinking since they came into office every year that they were going to deregulate the downstream sector, not pay any subsidy. The diesel that is used by national peace vehicles, used in generator to factory, is already deregulated. Kerosene that is used by the poor is already regulated. The price of cooking gas has gone up in recent months, just like the prices of essential food like bread. How will the average Nigerian be able to pay for petrol if subsidy is removed in July? Mr. Aguli advises that the government should take care of citizens by building good roads and providing quality education and health care. If this government stomachs courage, to remove fuel subsidy. What it is going to mean for Nigerians is that about two to three trillion naira that is meant into the sector that is called fuel subsidy will be taxed. And government will divert that money to education, to health care, to infrastructure, to security, to those things. That Nigerians are from Supporters of fuel subsidies say it is the only social benefit enjoyed by Nigerians. Critics say it's too expensive to maintain. And at worst, OPEC, Nigeria is on a track to spending nearly 3 trillion naira subsidizing petrol this year alone. For Plus TV Africa, Ngozika Ohaichesi. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.